Welcome to this video. Today we're going to be talking about what to do if your V-Drive system won't plant. First of all, verify that the master and section plant switches are all set to on with a green LED under the switch. The master plant switch should be in upper position with the LED light to green. The center section switches should be set to a center position with the LED light green. Next, verify that we are getting speed in the top right-hand corner of the screen when you're driving forward. If you're not currently getting speed, refer to the not getting GPS video or reach out to your precision planning dealer to understand how to get GPS speed from your OEM monitor to the 2020 system. Next, once we verify we have speed on the monitor, go to the V-Drive, M-Set, or V-Set Select control button. This can be identified by the V-Drive, M-Set, or V-Set Select button that is black or gray in the background. On the control page, we need to verify that we have a, either a prescription rate, if we are set to variable, or if we are set to manual, verify that we have a command population in the section control. If you do not currently have a population in the manual rate control, enter a population in. Next, look at the bottom of the screen with the dashboard mini chart. If the system is currently swathing off, these status buttons will turn yellow. If the status buttons for each row are turning yellow, that indicates that we are over previous swath or are outside of your field boundary. If this is the case, turn your swath control switch on the cab control module to off. If this allows the system to plant, verify that we have the correct boundary assigned to your field or that we are not planting over previous coverage. Finally, we need to validate that we have a lift switch set to lowered in order for the V-Drive system to run. To verify lift switch status, go to the setup button in the bottom right hand corner of the screen. Under our setup button, go to the diagnose page. On the diagnose page, press on the V-Drive button in the center of the screen. There's a lot of information on the V-Drive Diagnose page, but there's one thing in particular we want to reference here. In the bottom left-hand corner of the screen, there is a lift state. When you lower your planter, please verify that the lift state goes to lowered. If the lift state does not go to lowered, you will need to recalibrate or verify you have a lift switch plugged in. To verify or recalibrate your lift switch, press the Home button. Next, go to the setup button in the bottom right hand corner of the screen. Under your setup button, go to the systems tab. Under the systems tab, go to the lift switch button on the right hand side of the screen. If the lift switch does not currently show lowered when lowered and lifted when lifted, you will need to run the calibration for the lift switch. This calibration involves lifting your planter and pressing a button when lifted and lowering your planter and pressing a button when lowered. Run the calibration to calibrate your lift switch. If you have further issues or questions, please feel free to reach out to your precision planting dealer or precision planting product support. Thank you.